Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this piece. You won't believe how easy it is and I'm sure that it will be perfect for any size and for any style. I have been cleaning a lot and I have found a lot of material that I have left from previous videos so I want to make something easy so I can use all of them, okay? So in this case I found this yarn. I love the colors. This yarn comes uh, with this combination blue and white and I love it. I wanted to make the modern version of this vest that we sometimes use but I think that this vest is kind of old right and antique so I wanted to make something easy to wear but something modern and something that you can make and that will combine with many things okay so you can wear it uh, for your house be comfy or you can wear it uh, to go to a dinner, to a party, or outside, to the supermarket, for any case, right? For any situation. So it will be very easy to make. I love the stitch that I use. I love how I decorate it. And I hope that you enjoyed it, okay? Please, before we start, it's important that you subscribe. It's completely free. And if you haven't followed me on my social media, please go and check my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest. I'm new in TikTok too. And well, of course, here in YouTube. Please leave me a comment and leave me give me a like if you really like this video but well remember that first i will give you the material list and then the step by step and i hope that you find this tutorial very easily let's start enjoy and let's start well for this vest in an unisex size we will use this yarn i think that this yarn is between light and medium weight yarn here you can see it better and i will use the crochet hoof of 4.5 millimeters okay this uh, yarn comes combined with two colors white and blue okay we will start from the bottom and we will start making chains this strip of chains will be the white of our hip, okay? So we have to measure and uh, make this strip and taking that as a reference. So at the end I will count them to tell you how many I made and also I will give you the centimeters so you can take it as a reference. Remember that I'm making this best for me, but I think that in the size that I'm making it's an standard size. But if you feel that you need to make more, well you can make more or less. Okay, let's continue. So I finished and if we take the centimeters we will have 70 centimeters. Okay, so this is the white of my hips. Remember that as I told you, if you want you can make less or more chains. Okay, so once you have the chains that you need, we, you are going to make one chain and then in each stitch we are going to make one half double crochet so turn over insert your hook and bring them all of them together this is the half double crochet so like this we are going to continue making one in each stitch like this the whole row well at the end of the row turn around we will go up with uh, one and two chains and then in the next stitch again a double crochet we will always start with two double crochet this will be for the edge then five chains then we will skip one two three and here right here in the third one single crochet then next to it a second single crochet and next to it a third double crochet so again we are going to make five chains one two three four five skip two and in the third the first single crochet and then two more one here and then next one here so three single crochet so like this we are going to continue the whole row well at the end we will finish with two double crochet for the edge right then we will go up with three chains and next to it the second double crochet so we will always start and finish the row like this then we will make three chains and in the middle of the last strip of chains that we made single crochet 
then three chains, then in the middle of the last three single gold crochet that we made in the last row, we will make it right there a leaf. So we will make the first double crochet and leave the last looping hole, then a second and then a third, all of them in the same space. So then bring them through, let me check, and make one chain to close. You see this is one leaf. Then three chains, make a single crochet right in the middle of the wave, then again three chains, and again a leaf right in the middle of the last single crochet. So we will make three double crochet in the same space, leaving the last looping hole, you see? We will keep them in the hook. So then bring them through and make one chain to close. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, okay? This row will be of waves and leaves. Well, at the end of the row, turn around and again, we will start with two double crochet, okay? So three chains and then a double crochet and then we will repeat the first row, remember? Five chains, one, two, three, four, five and then we will make single crochet right next to the leaf and remember that in the first row we made three single crochet so one before one in the top and one after the leaf so again five chains and then three single crochet one before one in the middle and one after the leaf and like this is how we are going to continue repeating these two series okay then we are going to make the row of three chains and the leaves and like this we are going to repeat these two series until we get the long of the best that we want and in this stitch we won't alternate okay we will always keep the leaf in the same place in all the rows so i will continue making more rows so you can see how it looks and i will tell you how many rows i made of course look how beautiful i it looks i made more rows I love the combination. I wanted to stop here because remember that we have to make a second piece. So uh, if you want to make it longer, well, you will need more than 250 grams. Okay, so please take that into account. Well, I will tell you how many I made. In this case, I will count the series, okay? Remember that one series has two rows, okay? So we will count one. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so here let me count. So we will have, yes, um, 21 series. And I will measure it so you can take it as a reference. So this is the long of the best that I will make. So we have here 25 centimeters. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I was giving you the inches. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, centimeters. So from here to here, let me see, I'm sorry. <laughs> so here we have, okay, 60 centimeters. So now it sounds better, right? So 60 centimeters. And well, here let me see. Wide, I will tell you the, the centimeters so you can have as a reference too. And remember that this piece, it's a large size, it, but I think it's a standard size. So we have 66 centimeters. When we make the base chains, it cr it measured more centimeters, okay? But once we crochet with the stitch and how we crochet, it reduces. So I suggest that you make a sample, maybe with 30 chains or so, and then with the stitch and with the hook that you are going to use, make just uh, 30 centimeters and like this you will see and calculate how many stitches do you need for your size and it will be easier and remember that we all crochet different so it's important that you make your sample and like this you will make exactly and you will make the, the stitches that you need well we are going to join we finished here so we are going to make one more piece like this one one will be for the front and the next one for the back and i want to join right here leaf with leaf so we are going to join some leaves for one shoulder 
then we will leave the space for the neck and then we will join the same number for the other shoulder. Well, I'm going to make the second front with the same number of rows and everything. Just in the last row, I will leave it in hold so I can join it with this piece, okay? So see you at the end of the second piece. Well, I finished to make the second piece and we have to face them. This is the wrong side. Look at the difference. This is the right side so we are going to match the wrong side with the wrong side so now we are ready to to join okay so here is where we are going to uh, join here in the top I leave the last loop sorry the last rowing hold so while we crochet we are going to join okay we will use the same stitch and just let me here remember that we are going to leave the wrong sides both faces inside okay so let me fix this well here we will go up with three chains one two and three and then we are going to make remember that always at the beginning and at the end of the row we make two double crochet so here we are going to slip one to join the first double crochet with the first double crochet of the second piece and then we will come back to make the second double crochet and go to the first piece to join and a slip one so then from here we are going to make according to the stitch one two three three chains we are going to insert the hook right in the middle of the next strip of chains then three chains again then the leaf where we are going to make three double crochet leaving the last loops in hold then we are going to insert the hook in the next leaf as you could see I haven't I still have these stitches in hold so once I insert the hook in this first piece I will bring them through and one chain to close but guess what I don't like it how it looks so I think I will close the leaf and then I insert the hook in the first piece and a slip one, right? It looks better. What do you think? Right now. So we will continue like this. So again, three chains, single crochet in the middle of the strip of chains and three chains. And then the leaf. And when we are about to finish the leaf, well, we close the leaf and then we go to the first piece to right where the leaf is and insert the hook and a slip one to close so like this is how we are going to continue joining remember that we are going to join only some stitches to join the shoulder then we will leave the space for the neck and then we will join the same number of leaves in the other side and i think that we are going to uh, join one two three and four leaves in one side and in the other side too. I want to continue joining this part of the shoulder because I want to show you how we are going to make the last row for the neck. So here I will continue with you joining and also it's important so you can see how it is, right? So well, I was thinking that this piece is perfect for any occasion. I think that for summer or for winter it will be perfect. It's it's winter. Well, you can use a doctor <laughs> turtleneck on there, or maybe an spaghetti straps for um, summer, or it could be perfectly used as a cover up for anything, right? so you can make it in different colors too you will just see that so easy and also if you want you can join the sides and make it as a blouse no so here one two three and four leaves right so now i'm going to continue the rest following the same instructions and following this stitch i will continue with the same stitch and um, until I have four lips left in the other side I will stop and I will join the shoulders okay we will uh, join the same number so well like this is how we are going to continue right and remember that 
when we have four leaves left, we are going to stop and join while we make the stitch. Okay? So see you at the end when we finish to join to teach you what's next. I hope that you are enjoying it. Well, and like this is how it looks when we join. I think that I won't make any extra row. When I iron, I will just pull a little bit in these leaves so the waves can um, be marked more. How can I say it? But you know, when we iron, it will look different, okay? Also, please try on. Uh, maybe I should suggest you that before we join, put some markers and see if the if the space for the neck is enough and once you are sure crochet and join right but well it's up to you I like a little bit opened and that's why I only join four well now here in the side I will leave it like this I think that this stitch looks good because we made two double crochet at the beginning and at the end so I think that the ending is good right so I will just hide all the threads that I have here I will cut this thread and well, here in the bottom, you can make an extra stitch if you want, but guess what? I don't have enough material, so I will just make some cords to join the sides. Well, to make the cords, we are going to start making a long strip of chains. Like this, I will tell you how many chains I made, and then I will give you the next step. Look, I made 60 chains and approximately it measure 43 centimeters, okay? So you will calculate, you can take this as a reference. Then we are going to slip one in each stitch, okay? Try to go in order because sometimes we may confuse and always insert the hook in the same place, okay? So like this is how we are going to continue. Slipping one and once you finish to make one in all the chains we are going to um, cut remember to leave a long thread and hide it with embroidery and needle we are going to repeat the same with the other uh, with yes with the rest of the garment we are going to uh, hide with embroidery and needle and then we will cut as you could see here we have a round around a cord so we are going to place it as I told you here with embroidery and needle we are going to hide it first like this through the color so we can perfectly blend the thread like this so we have if we have a white thread we are going to blend it or we have crochet the white piece right <laughs> so like this we are going to hide it and then we will cut then we will place the cords in each side at the distance that you want according to the space and to your arm okay and like this we are finished well so what do you think i hope that you have enjoyed making this vest with me remember that you have to iron using a protection under i put the cords here in the sides at the distance where i want it according to the space of my arm if you want, you can make it longer for a peach cover up for a dress, or you can join in here in the sides to make a blouse. You will decide, okay? Well, remember just to click here the red button below and subscribe, it's completely free. Don't forget to share this video if you like it and to leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching and for clicking this video and for watching till the end of the video. Take care and see you soon and please don't forget to give me a like. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye.